there's been a lot happening nowadays but like i have got a story for you right now okay so during this time when we did not have time to make the videos because well nothing major was happening in tech anyways mm-hmm. this is the biggest news we have today but uh, i lost my phone 2 weeks ago you lost your phone 2 weeks ago like literally gone from my life <laughs> straight up 4 days <laughs> do you know how many hours are and you survived <laughs> <laughs> you want hard hospitalized or anything i messaged you i remember saying that uh, i will be contactable only here anymore yeah you know, right? i but i thought it was just work thing i i didn't know you lost your phone shit i'm, no, no, I'm no, so no. sorry man <laughs> i know it's it like was... a family member to you so <laughs> that must <laughs> be addiction right <laughs> no no for you it's like another living human being right <laughs> it's like you lost That's someone in your saying. life i i was so caught off guard or what i would say by that mm-hmm. thing that happened suddenly i lost it in a in a cab okay uh, i was okay. talking to a friend and while having the conversation i was reading something and kept it down and then while getting out i just forgot but as soon as i realized and messaged the guy but the guy did not bother coming back and just it was mm-hmm. just disaster after that uh it eventually went to police case but <laughs> uh but let, let's talk about the experience of not having phone okay before we go there i want to know what phone do you have right now is it another iphone or no no no, no. i got my phone back after four days oh you did okay yeah, yeah, yeah. I never did, mind I did, I did. <laughs> okay so what happened what was the experience so at one point i was just arranging fridge magnets <laughs> that was my experience i would summarize that in one sentence <laughs> If I had to say so that's what life got to that yeah. you were focusing on the fridge and the magnets there good so w- apart from phone what are the screens do you have no not only that okay forget about screens phone is your identity mm-hmm. i was stuck with mfas it's your identity let's let's just make it clear <laughs> it's your identity not for everybody okay so Speak how do yourself. you log in stuff don't you have like multi factor authentication like with phone oh you're we're talking in that sense yeah sure it yeah, is yeah. part of our it identity it is technically sure. identity right once you lost your okay. sim you cannot function as a um as a unit in this world anymore because <laughs> everything is related every login mostly is related to your phone it mm-hmm. is you cannot do anything about it you cannot have double sim with same number you know what i mean mm-hmm. so in that case you miss a lot but then the way i felt relaxed I've never felt before because I read a lot, you know, on phone, which means I'm aware mm-hmm. of a lot of things that are happening at the same time. But at that point, except time, your surroundings, except your surroundings. The, in in that four yeah. days, I was more aware of my surrounding, which kind of was limiting because it was great because I felt relaxed. I don't know. things about world anymore there was a lot of wars going on and stuff that i was away from at that time okay just not reading anything not looking at anything it was just a new phase for me <laughs> for that day four days i was in a new era of myself but mm-hmm. uh, you discovered thought, a part of yourself yeah because you finally got out of your phone okay good to know during this time i had one phone or that phone's function was only to connect to the cab to get me from work to home nothing else mm-hmm. the phone did not have any apps the phone did not even have sim the only re- reliance i did was on my work wifi if it works okay. it works if it doesn't work it doesn't work i don't even care but i didn't want to keep phone just to experience what i would feel like without a phone right it, for everyone it's a really pretty much integral part you use it every day you know what i mean 100% yeah when that small screen is missing it's a lot is missing it just feels that way because mm-hmm. even work related emails and all it's just a lot that happens throughout the day that you are missing you know what i mean i don't know how much you use mm-hmm. in terms of work also but i use work and you know personal life combined with the phone mm-hmm. of course for email checks and everything yeah that makes sense so yeah quite an experience 
that was something how did it feel when you finally got it back like did you hug the phone and sleep a whole day Not or really. like what did you do no i mean after i got it i was more so for example it's an addiction right what you would say a person who's smoking for a while and then you snatch his cigarettes for four days and then give him back <laughs> i don't know how that person would react but for me i just want did not want to use it anymore but not that i have forgotten myself what i am as a person like mm-hmm. how i read and all that but i have realized to take enough breaks not to do that seven hour cycle that i do on screen times but Uh, yeah for and during that period i was exploring gaming also so that helped but we'll talk about that later in the episode but you get so you went with. from <laughs> you went from one screen to another no 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 great no, that's not that's that was coincidental that, that that was happening at the same time gaming has been mm-hmm. like exploring i've been exploring since we did the last video only because we were talking about epic games versus epic mm-hmm. Yeah, Apple, probably, yes, got me really interested in that. Fair enough. But uh, let's talk about COVID situation first of all. 